Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I'm about to show you guys how to make a car that you need a game pass to drive that is responsible. This was another video requested by um one of my subscribers and stuff like that. So yeah, let's get straight into it. I bet. So pretty much you click the spawn button and then when you spawn and then when you spawn your car, um it'll spawn a few feet in front of you, or I guess a few studs in front of you, I should say. Um, but that's only if you own the game, like you own, you own the specific game pass. Um, if you try to sit, if you if someone tries to sit in the car to drive the car, um, like sit on the seat to drive the car, um, and they are not a and they are not the owner of the car, right? Like the person who spawned the car, then it will automatically destroy the car. That is in place so that like it's like it's an anti-abuse method, I guess you could say, in place so that people can't spawn the car for like their friend and then like they just drive around in it. And so they get to drive it and stuff but it's only if you care about that if you don't then you don't have to include this but yeah so here's here's the script right so pretty much first things first we check if the person owns the game pass right and then here's my game pass right and stuff if the player owns the game pass it will do all that if they don't it'll prompt them to purchase the game pass right so that they can uh you know buy it type shit you feel me and then if they buy it they can obviously then try it again and access the gui but anyway right so if they um if they do own the game pass then this will happen it'll check to see if they already have a car existent in the workspace and if they do it will destroy said car like already car pretty much like a car already in, in existence we'll say if i just said already car right it'll destroy it then it'll clone the car and then um uh what's it called and then it will uh what's it called you know set all the properties the position da -da -da, all that you feel me oh actually i forgot to add this actually let me add this boom down here boom all right there we go and then uh i think we don't need another end well either we need we either need another end or it's two end. what the fuck i'm a little confused right now guys not gonna lie um oh wait wait i see this okay there we go there we go all right anyway um so yeah right and then pretty much this is else like if they don't have a car existent in the workspace, then it'll just simply spawn the car. Then if someone touches the car, uh, like if they touch the seat of the car, sorry, if they touch the seat of the car and they are uh, in, oh, what's it called? And their uh, username is not the same as the person who spawned the car, then it'll destroy the car. Like I said, you can remove that if you want. And I would honestly understand if you removed it too. It's probably more, it probably is a little more complicated to honestly keep it, but yeah. Let's go ahead and click play. Obviously, when I click it, it'll obviously spawn since I do own the game pass, right? So click to spawn, respawn car. It's right there. What the fuck? Where the fuck is the car? Um. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> I told myself, it's actually funny. I told myself I was going to fix this before I started recording the video, but then I got distracted and then I forgot. Okay. All right. So my fault, guys. I forgot to do this. If hit dot parent, or oh, reminder, all the scripts will be in the description and they will be error free. Don't worry, should be, I should say. But yeah, I forgot to do this. Find first child. You guys know the drill. Y'all know the drill, right? I forgot to add that that if statement. And then okay, there we go. And then just come down here and do that too. If hit dot parent find first child. I see what it's doing now. It's because like when it touches, it's because like when it touches the um. When it's touching the base plate and stuff like that, since there's no if statement that like is to like put it through like a, a series of checks to make sure it is a player that's trying to touch it and stuff, it thinks the base plate is like just it, it'll it just destroys it upon any type of touch. But how it's supposed to work is if it's a player that's you know obviously username isn't the same. But anyway, yeah, there you go. Uh, it works and stuff simply because I own the game pass. Now click stop. Um. I am actually gonna go to a random game on Roblox. I'm literally on the Discover page right now. Okay, Royal Citizens, right? I'm gonna click store and then uh, double wages, whatever this is. Um, and then I am going to put their Game Pass ID here, right? To use as an example. Okay, so obviously I don't own this Game Pass since obviously I don't play the game and stuff like that, right? So if I click play, right, and I and I try to spawn the car, would you like to buy double wages, right? That's the, that's the game pass, right? And then obviously if I bought it, it would allow me to, yeah. 
yeah, that's pretty much how you do it and stuff. Hope this video was helpful for the person who requested it and anyone else who's watching. If it was, leave a like, subscribe. Appreciate y'all for watching. Uh, y'all should join the Discord and Roblox group. The link can be found in the description. The Discord is at like 61 members now. It's getting active and I'm fucking with everyone there type shit. So yeah, y'all yeah, should be so done. We're gonna get, I know for a fact we're gonna get this Discord server like 100 before February because you know, people be joining and I, and I love it type shit. I appreciate all the support y'all been showing. But yeah, appreciate y'all for watching and yeah, I'll see you guys.